Good morning. Happy Thursday. Our last day to check math morning work. After this, you can take your assessment and check that along with me and email us your score. All right, so we are on week 16, day four. The first one is rounding to the nearest tenth. So I'm going to rewrite my number so that we can see it really well. All right, the tenths place is this right here, the nine. You look next door. Okay, five or above, give it a shove, four or below, let it go. The eight is five or above, so you need to give this nine a shove. Well, nine becomes ten. Can you fit ten in this one place? No, so you have to change your whole number. So if this was 10, it would bump your whole number up to 54.0. I know that's a little tricky. It helps to think about money. Think about it like money. All right. Um, multiplying fractions. Four times, you just multiply across. Four times one is four. Six times three is 18. That can be simplified. What can go into 4 and 18? 2. 4 divided by 2 is 2. 18 divided by 2 is 9. So 2 ninths is your final answer. All right, this is, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, PEMDAS. We do what's in parentheses first. So 4 fifths times 1 third. So we get 4 over 15. Now we do 7 minus 4 fifteenths. How are we going to do that? Well, it helps to take this 7 and make it into a mixed number. How can we make a mixed number that's equal to 7? We can do a 6 and then do a fraction that's equal to whole. Remember, fractions that are equal to whole are the same numerator and denominator. So 1 over 1 is a whole. 2 over 2 is a whole. 100 over 100 is a whole. 7 over 7 is a whole. So let's um, use the denominator we're already working with just to make it easier. So over here we have a 15. So is 15 over 15 a whole? Yes. So 6 and 15 over 15 is equal to 7 because you have a 6 plus a whole equals 7. Now we're going to subtract our 4 fifteenths, okay? So 15 minus 4 is 11 over 15, and then just bring your whole number over, okay? So 6 and 11 fifteenths. All right, this one. Let's rewrite our numbers, okay, over, over, up. Three goes into six two times, and the decimal is after the two, so your answer is just two, or 2.0, whichever one you want, but it's equal to two. Okay? That is it for today. Go ahead and take your assessment, and then you can um, check with me in just a second. Bye, guys. Have a great weekend.